All right, here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's my one minute plus six hour meatloaf recipe. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, Bill, your meatloaf is pretty good. Thank you, Toonie, that means a lot to me, and yet I don't believe you've ever had my meatloaf. Oh, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was thinking of someone else's meatloaf. Yeah, anyway, watch carefully, because this is a really cool trick. Watch this. All right, here we so go. So simple. All right. First, you throw one pound of ground beef, just like this, into a bowl. All right. Then you add the rest of the ingredients, Tony. It couldn't be more simple. You start out with an egg. I've pre-taken it out of its shell. That's smart. There we go. Throw that egg in there. Now some of the beefy onion soup. And Tuni, make sure it's the beefy onion soup and not the non-beefy onion soup. Yeah, of course, of course. The beef is what makes it, That's right? That's what makes it great, absolutely. And then you throw in some breadcrumbs. Just like this, they come in a package called breadcrumbs. Yeah, what you about throw a that third, in there? Three fourths of a bowl there. Yeah. Now yeah. ketchup is very important to me for so many reasons. It's our greatest spice. Yeah. We so, got about a half cup in there. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Between a half a cup and five cups, it's up to you. Okay, well, Use your own discretion. I would do half a cup. There I mean, we this go. Is the recipe. You Look know? at that. It looks like a Brian De Palma movie, doesn't it? Yeah. How about that? <laughs> All right. Now, you have all the ingredients in your bowl, so what are you gonna do next? Any uh, ideas? Yeah, you're probably gonna uh, mix it up with your hands or something, yeah. right? Make sure you use meatloaf gloves. Not regular gloves, not slow snow gloves. You wanna use meatloaf gloves. They're the best kind of gloves. All right, so I'm mixing it all together just like this. Jeez, when you do it like that, it doesn't look as good as the finished product. Oh, you'd you be know? surprised, Tuni. Sometimes the worse things look, the better they taste. That's true, that's what they say. Like, uh, you don't wanna see how the meatloaf or the sausage is made. The world's oldest adage, it really is. Now, I know you've probably been told not to play with your food. Not in this case, Tuni. The more you play with it, the better it tastes. Okay, all right. Now, this is a recipe I can get behind. Now, once all the ingredients are combined, you shape it into a meatball like this, or a loaf, as we like to say in the business. You shape a good loaf, buddy. You're very kind. Now, I've already taken the top of the crock pot off, so I'm gonna throw it in there, right in the slow cooker. Okay. Just like that. Great. I'm gonna massage it down just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Because that makes me feel good. It makes the meat and myself feel good. Oh, that's nice. And then you probably wanna put the lid back on, yeah. right? So here's what you wanna do next, Tony. You wanna take the lid and carefully place it back in place. Cook on low, very important, it has to be on low, for roughly six hours, or until the thermometer says 160 degrees. Degrees. Guess what, Toonie, that's it. Wow, that's so easy, a fish could do it. I think you're right, Toonie. And as a bonus surprise, I made one of these meatloafs last yeah. night. Feast your eyes on this, baby, would you, Toonie, huh? Wow. Take a look at that, yum, stunning, yum, isn't it? Yum. Oh, that's weird, Toonie, it almost looks like a, a bite was taken out of part of this meatloaf. What? Toonie! Uh, oh, Bill, <laughs> come on, I couldn't help myself. It smelled so good, I, I had to sneak a little taste. Now, who could blame you, Toonie? It's meatloaf, for heaven's that's sake. That's right.